Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy and Plugin Review Friday, where every Friday I show you a new plugin, we walk through its feature set, and I show you how to apply it to a mix so you can make professional sounding mixes in your home studio. Okay, before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few free gifts I want to give you that is absolutely going to help you make better music in your home studio. So stick around. Okay, everybody, welcome. So this week on Plugin Review Friday, we're gonna take a look at a plugin that I've actually had for years um, and forgot about that I actually had it. And when I used it in a mix recently, I thought this would be a really cool plugin to show you. This is another one of those utility plugins that I don't use all the time, hence the reason why I forgot I had it. But when you need it, it's really, really a cool plugin. This is by um, Plugin Alliance and the company Brainworks, and this is called the um, BX Shed Spread. And basically what it does, in its simplest terms, when you're working on, really it's made for guitars, but you can use it on background vocals and stuff like that. But if you have, um, let's say two guitars, in this case, we're gonna listen to an acoustic guitar panned hard left, acoustic guitar panned hard right. And in the context of the mix, you still feel like you wish those guitars were a little bit wider. This magically will make those guitars sound even wider than as far as you can spread them hard left, hard right, which is really cool. Cool little plugin, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna just show you, before we get into it, I'm gonna kinda of just show you what it does so you can hear what it does. So right now I have two acoustic guitars, one panned hard left, one panned hard right. They're soloed up, I don't have the, the rest of the mix playing. We'll do that in a second in the context of the mix. I'm gonna bypass the plugin here, I'm gonna turn it on and you can just hear what it does. Now if you're listening to this or watching this while you're in listening with headphones, it's gonna be, a, you're gonna hear it a lot more uh, clearly although you can hear it in studio monitors as well. So let's listen back to this um, little acoustic guitar part and then I'll turn the plug-in on and you can just hear what it does. Again, we are panned hard left, hard right, going to a acoustic guitar stereo bus. This is on the stereo bus, here we go. All right, we got one left, one right. Bypass, a little bit more towards the center. Spreads it out. Okay, that's what it does. Now, and this is very subtle. Now you can make this even more drastic if I wanted to go all the way. And then we'll walk to the controls of the plugin. Here's what it sounds like completely, as wide as you can make it. Okay, that's a 200%, which is probably a little bit much. And you gotta be careful that if you don't spread them out so far, you're running into some phasing issues. But this will also be really good on if you have a really dense electric guitar, heavy distorted guitar mix. We have lots of layers of guitars and they're being panned all over the place. This is the way to really get big wide guitars. Same thing with lots of background vocals for choirs, things like that. Think of it like that. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a gain knob on the left-hand side. We have a solo pan knob which allows you to, again, spread these things out. We have an auto mode, which it's a little, you can read the manual on this to get a little, I don't wanna to get too technical in this video on what it really does under the hood, and that's what it really does. Just know that um, you can read about the real detail of what some of these controls do. Same thing with threshold. Threshold works along with the auto detection mode. Um, and we'll, we're gonna set that aside. You can read that in the manual because I got a lot of good presets. You could just drop this plug in, drop a preset on it, tweak a couple of controls and you have what you need. If you wanna know all the nitty gritty details, you can always demo the plug and download the manual and read through all the technical stuff. Uh, the mono maker button, what that does is it allows you to choose a frequency. It's kind of a mid side thing. So for example, if I set this at 80 Hertz, um, only, um, only the, everything from 80 hertz and below is gonna stay up the center and 80 hertz and above is the stuff that's gonna be spread out to the left and right, if that makes sense. Um, you can also mono, uh, the shred button here actually um, is like an EQ and, it, it, and I'll demonstrate that in a second where you can brighten or darken the signal. Um, and then the spread button is how much you wanna spread things out, okay? And then we have our metering on our right hand side, it's pretty simple. They got a lot of cool plugins here that you can, uh, you can, you can use as a starting point. I have two, I was doing double wide acoustic guitars and this is kind of the, 
kind of the settings it gave me, and this is what we kind of have. Let it loop around again. It's before. After. Now the shred button will darken it up or brighten it up. So in essence, it's a simple little EQ, okay? So now how does this help in the context of the mix? Because that's what you really want to know. So let's listen to this whole mix back here. Well, again, there's no other plugins on this mix. This is a, again, I use this as a template to just demo plugins so you can hear only what this plugin is doing and not being worried about any other processing, kind of coloring the sound. So this whole mix doesn't have a single plugin on it. So here we go. So here's what we have. I'm gonna start with it in bypass mode. again. So it really just kind of pushes those acoustic guitars out a little bit more so you could hear them a little bit with a little more clarity and they get a little brighter sounding because they're getting out of the way. Now again, before this plugin is activated, the acoustic guitar tracks were already panned hard left and hard right going to a stereo bus. So you couldn't pan them any more hard left and hard right. So what this does, I guess in its simplest form, it just makes them wider than you can actually make them by just panning hard left and right. Um, and that could be really, really cool. This could be a really cool uh, plugin where if these guitars are getting lost in the mix or you have a lot of other instrumentation going on and you want those guitars to just be a little bit bigger and fatter, or again, same thing with like, if you had a bunch of background vocals or like choirs, things like that, we really want the chorus of a song to really be spread out, be big and wide. This little utility plugin is very helpful for that. It's simple, it's easy to use. You can literally pick a preset as a great starting point and just tweak it a little without getting too caught up in all the technical stuff under the hood. But again, you can read the manual for that as well. Um, I'll put a link in the description box so you could go check out this plugin, demo it. I think this is really cool. Like I said, I don't use this a lot, um, but when you have something like this where I wanna just get those guitars a little bit wider, this is a great little way to do it. And it's a cool little utility plugin. Um, and I think it's something you ought to consider checking out. It's something fun, something different, something you don't see every day, but could be very, very useful to getting things to be spread out, make things sound bigger than they really are. Are. So I want to thank you for taking a look at the B, uh, the Brainworks uh, Shed Spread. Uh, this or yeah, Shed Spread. Say that three times fast. It's over at the plug, the Plugin Alliance website. All the links will be in the description box below. So I want to thank you for watching this entire video. As I said at the beginning, I want to give you a free gift. I want to give you a couple of free gifts actually. So here we go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give you five free mixing training courses over at HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. If you have not been to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com yet, you you should go get your five free mixing training courses today. Now, if you're someone that's been following me for a while and you're like, I already got your five free courses, brother, and I have about half of all the courses you have on your website. No free gift for me? Well, I don't know if I can give you a free gift, but what I can do for you, as well as the newbies, I wanna give you a coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. That will take 25% off any training course on my website. So you can go check out any of my recording, mixing, mastering courses, and you can um, take 25% off anything. Just use the coupon code YouTube25 at checkout. Again, the link will be in the description box below. And last but certainly not least, if you really want to learn the craft of mixing in a very non-technical way where we dive down deep into plugins like this and we get more and more into the nitty gritty of it, but we do it in a very non-technical way so you don't have to be a real seasoned engineer. This is great for perfect actually for beginners and intermediate level mixers and check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net and for a limited time if you click the link in the description box below you get 40% off an annual membership less than the cost of a small cup of coffee a day go check out mixingmadeeasy.net now I want to hear from you what do you think of this plugin um, is it really cool have you used it before do you know of it do you know of any other plugins like this BX shed spread um, and what do you think of it I'd love to know your thoughts leave comments below 
And until next Plugin Review Friday, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net, and I will see you next Friday. Take care. Thank you.